Live from Studio 5 in New York City, this is the News at 6. Joining me right now is Dr. Joshua Brody, oncology specialist, Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Thank you for being here, doctor. You know, everybody wants to hear good news, right? You, you, you hear that question all the time. Tell me something good in this fight against cancer. You're right in the middle of it, okay? So share some of the progress being made. Ernie, my pleasure. We are right in the middle of it, and we are very lucky to be in the middle of it today when miraculous and mm -hmm. inspirational things are happening. Uh, we have a lot of great advances. Literally, patients who a few years ago we would have said had incurable diseases, no options for therapy today, getting therapies that put them into remission and hopefully into remission for a long time. And these novel therapies really is what you're looking at, right? Different ways to treat cancer, and you're part of that. Absolutely. We should not uh, minimize the great advances of older therapies, chemotherapy, surgery, mm -hmm. radiation therapy. However, some of these novel therapies have allowed the great inspirational stories of these past few years, targeted therapies and immunotherapies, getting the patient's own immune system to go and attack their That's cancer. That's very important, doctor, right? There's, there's some control there. That's very positive. Uh, it is extremely positive, and patients love to realize that, in fact, not only do we give medicines to get rid of cancer, but we can also give medicines to allow them to get rid of the cancer themselves mm -hmm. using their own immune systems. Very important. Attitude, how, how important is that in, in the treatment and therapy? Attitude, very important in first overcoming all the many any road blump, you know, the road blocks and road sure. bumps yep. and the inspirational things that allow us to keep going, uh, having both a good supportive family and friends to keep us with a positive attitude. And attitude actually changes our biochemistry. Stress may not cause mm -hmm. cancer, but stress probably allows cancer to grow faster. Okay, a lot of good thoughts for us. Thank you so much, Dr. Brody, for sharing that information, okay? Ernie, my pleasure. Thank you. All Thank right, you. other stories to report for you tonight.